Hello, I am Charlotte Wright from FireX and in this short video facilitated by BT Redcare, I'm speaking to David Crowder from BRE about his presentation at FireX 2017. David, I believe you're speaking about the Lacanal house fire. Could you start off by just giving me a brief overview of what that was? Uh, certainly, Charlotte. The Lacanal house fire was a tragic incident that occurred on the 3rd of July 2009. Uh, it involved a large block of flats uh, in South East London and tragically resulted in the deaths of six of the residents of that block. Uh, it's had uh, major repercussions, it's been a major investigation and I hate to add a major part of my working life since it occurred. Um, and I hope that you know now that the dust has settled in terms of the legal proceedings that we can start to learn from it as, a, as an industry. So now that we are nearly eight years on from the fire, what lessons have been learnt? Well, I have to say, I'll start by caveating that I've been very close to the incident. So, you know, I've got certain views about what I think has been learnt, but um, I certainly, from the discussions I've had, and again, having to be very careful in terms of um, those discussions in the past, uh, my impression is that the housing sector at large has certainly taken on a great deal from Lackanel. Attitudes have changed dramatically. There's been an increased focus on the need of good fire safety in housing and ensuring that, that occupants in housing are, are well protected from fire. Um, which is a great thing. And with that, within that, there are all the components of fire safety that have been looking at in, in closer detail, things like fire doors, fire stopping, cavity barriers, and those are all the, sort of the components that bring together the, the fire safety package in any housing development. But the key point for me has been the attitude change. And is there any more that still needs to be done to make sure that occurrences like this happen less often? Yes, I think so. Um, again, whilst... I'm personally, you know, extremely um, pleased is the wrong word, but, but I'm, I'm glad that, that improvements have been made and that we have learnt from this tragic incident. Um, the, the risk for me is that we are talking about an attitude change and there is always the risk that corporate amnesia will set in, people will move on and we'll start to forget about the lessons that we'll learn during Lacanal. If attitudes start to, start to relax, then there is a danger that, that old habits could creep back in. And what are the biggest challenges with fire safety in housing specifically? The challenges in, in residential um, properties, I'm afraid to say that the challenges tend to stem from the occupants of, that, of those buildings. That's, that's not a bad thing, that's not a criticism of the occupants. But you are ultimately doing your best, or housing providers are doing their best as, as professional organisations to deal with people who are ultimately within their own homes, they are entitled to have their own space and to want to run that space in the way they see fit. And so there's always a tension between the housing provider trying to deal with its duties in the, under the law and those homeowners who reasonably want you know, a peaceful way of life in the way that they want to run their own affairs. And what are you talking about at FireX? So at FireX I will be talking about the, the fire safety prosecution, which finally came to a close in the early part of this year. Um, with the fines imposed. Uh, what I would like to do and what I plan to do is recap the, the findings that came out of the inquest that I had discussed at previous FireX events um, and then go through some of the work that, that led to ultimately the charges that were brought by the London Fire and Emergency Planning Authority uh, against Southwark and, and how that came to be and, and the outcome from the trial. And finally, are there any other projects that you're working on at the moment or investigations that you're involved with that you think... There are plenty. I'm afraid the investigations, the nature of investigations is I can't go into specifics on those, but there are investigations ongoing um, both inside and outside of the housing sector. Uh, it's still an area where, as I mentioned before, you know, work continues to be done and we're still learning lessons. Um, in terms of the research, uh, yes, there is a, a number of areas of research that are taking place. I know that we've recently published work in relation to uh, the external performance of uh, facades on, on blocks, including blocks of flats, looking at spandrel panels, uh, as well as research looking at soffit boards and indeed cable runs in buildings where these have caused issues for firefighters, um, where cables have dropped down during the course of fires and, and caused entanglements. So there's a whole raft of things that are ongoing at the moment, most of which is uh, kindly funded by uh, UK government, Department for Communities and Local Government. Um, so, as I say, work continues to be made. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time, David. It's been good speaking to thank you. you. It's been a pleasure.